School districts across Arizona are still struggling to fill bus driver positions. In the Valley, several districts are short dozens of drivers as they're working to get kids back to school. A few weeks ago, the Dysart Unified School District upped its starting pay in the hopes of filling the positions that are necessary. Team 12's Colleen Sikora is checking in with Dysart and other districts, trying to bring in more drivers. Yeah, Dysart's Director of Transportation says that $20 an hour starting wage is what's helped them get to the point where they'll be full staffed soon. In 20 years in the business of driving kids to school, this would be the first time. Doug Curry, Director of Transportation with Dysart Unified School District, says he's going to have all 20 open bus driver positions filled, with five on reserve by the end of November. We'd be fully staffed and fully trained. Just about three weeks after the district's governing board approved a $20 an hour starting wage. That's what's brought them. Before we were getting one or two applicants a week, and we've got 50. Meanwhile, districts around the valley, including neighboring Peoria Unified School District, are still struggling to get the drivers they need to get students to school. Peoria's short 20 bus drivers and their governing board will consider raising their wage about $3 an hour Thursday. Currently, a job opening on the district's website says they pay about $13.60. Yeah, Dysart kind of yeah, took it to another level. At Mesa Public Schools, the largest district in Arizona, Scott Thompson, Assistant Superintendent of Business Services, says he's down about 60 drivers. We're covering more routes than ever, and we're, we're really struggling to just make the system work the way it should uh, on a daily basis. He says pay is about 16 to $17 an hour in his district, but says there are other incentives. Drivers work 40 hours a week and get benefits, and it's a year-round job. We gotta get more drivers hired and trained up, and so, yeah, we're just trying to figure out how to do, how to do that. Mark Jorenstad, executive director of the Arizona School Administrators Association, a nonprofit including more than 1,400 school leaders around Arizona, says they plan on asking Governor Doug Ducey for help in finding solutions. Money isn't necessarily the case with this. It's getting personnel who want to continue to do this job. Curry says, though, it was money that made the difference. Our goal was first to the finish line, and I think we did it. Colleen Sikora, 12 News. Colleen, thanks.